Hello everyone, welcome to the Bug Expert channel. In this video, we will talk about solutions for friends who encounter Call of Duty Warzone 2.0.13 files failed to validate error. This error is usually caused by the Steam application not running with administrative privileges. Of course, we may encounter such errors not only because of this problem, but also because the antivirus system blocks some events that the Steam application will perform. Therefore, we will give you information on how to fix the verification problem by mentioning a few suggestions and try to solve the problem. Before we show you solutions, we will briefly talk about the forum. You can forward various errors you encounter to the community on the forum portal we have opened. For this, if your problem continues or if you encounter a different problem, you can get a quick response by sharing it on the forum portal. We care about your questions and suggestions. Close the Steam application completely with the help of a task manager and run it again and try to verify the file integrity of the game again to see if the problem persists. This action can prevent potential Steam bugs from getting in the way. The fact that the Steam program does not run as an administrator can cause us to encounter many errors. If the permission to install the file on the storage is not allowed, running it as an administrator will help us solve this problem. If the Steam library is corrupt or damaged, it can cause us to encounter such a problem. For this, we can eliminate the problem by repairing the Steam library. Run the Steam program. Click on the Steam option in the upper left corner and access the settings menu. Click on downloads on the left side of the menu that opens. Click the Steam library folders button on the menu screen that opens. After this process, Select the game save storage and click on the three dots on the right and click on the repair folder option. After the repair process is complete, you can check if the issue still persists. We can eliminate the problem by deleting the Steam and Call of Duty cache and save files. For this, first of all, type run on the start search screen and open it. Type the file location I showed in the video on the screen that opens and press enter. After this process, delete the Call of Duty folder and restart it by typing run on the search screen and press enter. After this process, type the file location I showed in the video and press enter. Delete the Steam and Activision folders in the new window that opens. If you encounter an error while deleting the Steam folder, the Steam program is running in the background. For this, close the Steam program completely with the help of the task manager and perform the deletion process again. Then find the Activision folder and delete it. After this process, you can run the Steam application as an administrator and check if the problem persists. We can prevent this error with the browser cache cleaning software developed by Steam. To do this, First of all, let's open the Steam application. Then click on the Steam option in the upper left and access the settings menu. After this process, click on the web browser option on the left. Click the delete web browser data button on the screen that opens. After the cleaning process is complete, let's move on to our other suggestion. Click on the downloads option on the left side of the settings menu. Click the clear download cache button on the screen that opens. After cleaning, your Steam account will be logged out. After you log into your Steam account, you can check if your problem persists. If the Steam application is out of date, it can cause many connection problems. For this, you need to check whether the application is up to date and which application the game is installed. For this, you can wait for the update request by closing the application completely and restarting it, or you can request an update from within the application. Disable any antivirus program you are using or delete it completely from your computer. If you are using Windows Defender, disable it. For this, let's write Virus and Threat Protection on the Start Search screen and open it. Click on the Manage Settings option on the screen that opens and scroll down the menu and click on the Managed Controlled Folder Access option. After this process, let's disable the Controlled Folder Access option and come back. Let's turn off the real-time protection that comes up and go down again and click on the Add or Remove Exclusions option. Select the folder by clicking the Add and Exclusion option on the screen that opens, and select the folders where Steam and Warzone 2.0 are installed and save. 
since Warzone 2.0 game is not installed on the computer, I did not add it as an exception. For this you need to add it. After the save process is complete, you can run the game and check if the problem persists. Various problems in the Steam application can cause us to encounter various problems like this. For this, we type add or remove programs on the start search screen and open it. We search by typing Steam in the search box on the screen that opens. Then uninstall the Steam application and perform the installation process again. Due to this situation, all your games downloaded via Steam will be permanently deleted from your computer. Yes, in this video we have provided information on how to fix the Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 files failed to validate error. If you are encountering various errors, you can reach the community with your questions by accessing the forum portal we have opened. By supporting us, we can expand our community. Thank you.